It was a good meeting. We spoke about infrastructure, we spoke about uh, the Montreal agenda, and uh, we, we talk about uh, the issues uh, of the day. But uh, I'm very pleased to have the Prime Minister with us. Uh, he's a member of Parliament from Montreal. He has that great sensitivity about uh, cities, and uh, he, we understand the importance of all working together and that cities are part uh, of the plan. Obviously, uh, as was in the news, we talked about uh, pipelines and uh, energy policy, and I highlighted that I'm always happy to hear perspectives uh, from across the country on various projects, but uh, my responsibility as Prime Minister is to uh, make sure that on national projects, we're behaving in a way that both contributes to the economy, uh, to a secure environment, uh, to bringing people together, and mostly to creating uh, a better future for future generations. Do you have the intention to require new supplementary tests of, for, regarding climate for pipelines, for new pipelines and the new export terminals? Uh, one of the, the commitments we made in uh, the election campaign, which uh, we intend to keep is that on the uh, new process of environmental assessment and uh, review process for uh, projects, uh, we would uh, both build on uh, previous uh, work done by uh, the uh, processes uh, that did exist, uh, and we will ensure that in the process going forward, uh, we take into account uh, all greenhouse gas emissions, uh, including those upstream. Uh, this is a commitment we made, and this is uh, what we intend to bring forward uh, when we bring forward our, uh, our uh, renewal and uh, uh, repurposing uh, of the environmental assessment process and the N and National Energy Board's work. Uh, Canadians know that you can't build a strong economy without protecting the environment at the same time. It's not one or the other, and people know we do need a strong economy. Uh, and we need a protected environment. And the process that the Liberal government is putting forward is very much focused on permitting uh, a development of uh, both of those things simultaneously in partnership with concerned citizens and levels of government uh, and in partnership with industry uh, who needs to uh, you know, work hard to demonstrate uh, the impact, uh, uh, the impacts, positive and uh, mitigate the negative uh, of their projects. At the end of the day, it's all about to being respected. It's to be responsible and to have a balanced approach between uh, economic development and sustainable development. And truly, cities are playing that role to make sure that uh, we can uh, get that. And I think that uh, the government of Canada right now is very responsible in the way, and we salute that. We said since day one, and uh, from CMM, we spoke already about pipelines like Enbridge. We said yes to Enbridge because they've done their homework. So we need to have those uh, environment impact. We need to understand that uh, you know there's no uh, plan B to uh, to the planet. So by by doing that way, we it was part of the recommendation that uh, we've been asking for uh, some environmental uh, impact.